everyone, this is Ian Bales from IQS Insurance, and today I'm talking about Legacy Armor. And as you can see on our screen here, Legacy Armor is a vault collection system for all your important documents. Um, family documents, estate planning documents, wills, everything that I have up in the checklist that's above here on the website. And here is the vault system, actually. Uh, you're given four different vaults right here. One is labeled for my family, so you can put all those important documents that your family would need. Here's for my financial estate planners, so your estate service professional that you're hooked up with would be able to access documents that you allow them to have uh, access to, which is your life insurance documents and all sorts of documents that they would need to be able to look at. Your health directive and medical, and a custom uh, vault. So to get started, for example, here for the financial estate planners, just click get started. And this is everything that goes on inside the vaults. So you have vault size, you have zero bytes out of one terabytes, and terabytes is a lot of information that you can uh, upload. And there's different things, drop downs here. So there's different ways that you can deliver a uh, the document. You know, you can do it manually, so you can upload some documents and manually uh, deliver encrypted documents to um, the recipient. You can do it by date. So say that your son or daughter is turning 21 and you want them to have access to some privy information, you can put their birth date here. There's also the death and incapacitation. So at the time of your passing, uh, the Social Security Department um, will get notified that, uh, that your loved ones or you uh, have passed away. And by clicking the Social Security number and having that, when the Social Security information knows that you have passed away, this vault will automatically be delivered to hear your recipients. The other types of delivery is the heartbeat contact method. So uh, if you want to set it up by texting or email, you can say whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly. That way the system would email or text you daily, weekly, or monthly, and you have a few attempts to uh, respond. And if you don't respond, the system will think that um, you know, you're incapacitated in some way and it'll deliver some vital information to the, uh, your recipient depending on how you set that up. So here's where you put the recipients. You see I, I just added a bunch of recipients. Um, you can add the recipient here and you put in their name, put in their, put in their name, put in their email, country, and mobile number. That's all the pertinent information that they need. You can put the other stuff in there if you need to, and you can have a message to them. Delegates, you can assign two delegates to manage this vault. Uh, one of the delegates would be your estate service professional um, to help you along the way, help guide you what documents that you need to upload um, that's necessary. A lot of people have a lot of documents and they don't know what kind of documents to upload and the estate service professional is here to uh, guide you along to what you want to upload. And you can just add the delegate there, same way as a uh, recipient. So here's where you want to import uh, your upload your information. You can do PDFs, JPEGs, audio files, movie files. Um, again, you know, according to that checklist that I have up there, those are a lot of the files that we feel that are important for people to upload. I'm just going to go ahead and show you one of those. I'm just going to upload a PDF here. And it scans in, and you can see that here. So I'm just going to go back to For right now, I'm going to choose manual delivery, but remember you can do it by date. You can do it by death and incapacitation. This is the most important one if you're going to, if you want everything to be sent to your loved ones at the time of your passing. Just to show you how this works, though, I'm going to put on manual delivery. 
I'm going to assign a recipient. Now this is the passphrase for the recipient to get. So I am going to put in my uh, son's name. And I'm just going to say son as the passphrase hint. You can do one of them, two of them, three of them. It depends how many you want uh, to have. If somebody's not going to have access to this for a few years, you're going to want to put as many hints uh, and passphrases as possible so that they don't uh, have to uh, hunt and peck to find the passphrase uh, the you had set up. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to save all the changes. And you see this is scheduled for the manual delivery. If I had set that up for the incapacitation or the by delivery date, it would still say scheduled here. So you know that something's going to go on here. Uh, this one, these two are open. I had put some information in here, so that's locked. Um, now I'm going to go do the manual delivery. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to put on the passphrase I used to lock the ball. And all I'm going to say is deliver now. The vault has been delivered. Say OK. And the vault is ready to have more documents and more directive put into it. And as you can see here, um, I put in a vault name for my family. It was delivered just now, man delivered, and here's the recipients. Here's all the other ones that I had sent to people. And that is just a brief video of explaining uh, the different kinds of vaults. Just quickly, uh, up here, this is where you can add recipients. If you didn't do it below, add the delegates. You could also see uh, what you've uploaded. This is how you access this screen, the vaults. And then um, if you want to do a simple will, you can click on My Estate Plan. This comes with it. You can do a Last Will and Testament, Power of Attorney, and a Living Will. Uh, if you have more complicated um, thing, a lot of family members or a lot of different properties, um, there's a different system for that. But if you just want to set up something simple, this is included. But the most important thing here definitely is the vault system.